Ah, 2018, you've already killed quite a bit of people already, but you've finally killed off somebody that nobody shall miss. Saya fucking our Dave Holland. <laughs> Am I being harsh? Well, perhaps you should decide here, Metal Maniacs. Besides being the absolute worst drummer in Judas Priest's history and replacing the band's best drummer, Les Binks, in what is quite possibly the single biggest downgrade in heavy metal history, Dave Holland reportedly sexually assaulted a mentally disabled 17-year-old boy whilst giving him drumming lessons. You had a segment, and I appreciate all that you've done with the PMS show and how it used to be the format that whatever happened to has changed. However, I'm going to take it back a little bit and ask you, whatever happened to Dave Holland? Because I was born in 72, and I knew from day one that I heard the Point of Entry album even after. And I went back and was re re reintroduced to some of the stuff that Dave Holland, the drummer, had did. It's the first time I'd ever heard Honest Metal played with an open drum kit where everything sounds like a cannon, everything is crisp and clear. Whatever happened to Dave Holland, my hero? Well, James, uh, unfortunately, first of all, thanks for your call about uh, New Mexico. I, I've heard from many people there's a huge metal base there, and I've never been there, so hopefully one day something will bring me there. Uh, but your hero, unfortunately, may not be your hero when you hear what happened to him, because Dave Holland has been in jail in the U.K. for a long time on child molestation charges. So he has... Uh, uh, he was accused of this, and he went through the court system, and this happened a number of years ago. Uh, by the, the charges said something to the effect that, that they alleged that he was giving drum lessons to, uh, to children or to kids, and then uh, there were sexual assault charges against him with those children. So the, he was accused of this, and he has been in jail for a very long time. And, of course, if he's guilty of those charges he should be in jail for life as far as i'm concerned but uh that is why dave holland is not spoken about that is why you don't hear from him that is why if you picked up the 30th anniversary of defenders of the faith of judas priest he there is not a photo of him in it even the live shots are strategically retouched to take him out of the photos uh it's rough because obviously this guy was a, played on some of the biggest most iconic judas priest albums ever but he has completely been uh, cast out of photos, mentions in any way because of you know, th this, what's happened to him and what he has uh, been accused of and what he is in jail for. So there's your answer. Uh, not the greatest answer, of course, but it's an honest answer. And it's, uh, it's pretty sick that, 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 that what this guy has, you know, has done. And uh, he's paying the price. For me, I always believed him to be a huge downgrade from the almighty Les Binks, the best drummer in Judas Priest, by far my all-time favorite drummer in metal. So, I already wasn't a huge fan to begin with. He was only worth a damn on, like, what, two songs, Rapid Fire and Riding on the Wind? Compared to the other Judas Priest drummers, Les Binks, Simon Phillips, Scott Travis, and all the rest, Holland has just always been the most disappointing. So yeah, reading up on him and finding out that he diddled a mentally disabled 17-year-old boy, I lost any and all remaining respect for the man. And so did everyone else. On the 30th anniversary CD of Defenders on the Faith, which I uh, own right here, he was actually taken out of all the band pictures, and Tony Iommi had his drum parts just removed and re-recorded by the late, great, and vastly superior Jimmy Coplay on the 1996 D.E.P. Sessions album. So no, 
I don't like Dave Holland. Now, I know what you might be thinking here. Well, Richard, you don't believe that Michael Jackson diddled children when he was being convicted of doing so. What makes Dave Holland any different? Well, you cucks, there's actual proof that Michael Jackson didn't fuck kids. May I direct you to Razor Fist video on the subject? But... With Dave Holland, why would a mentally disabled kid lie about being sexually abused by a failed musician and somebody whose bank account was so empty he had to resort to giving people drumming lessons to pay the fucking light bill? The kid most likely knows there would be nothing to gain out of lying about it. The difference between this and Michael Jackson is that Michael Jackson had money to extort and the families decided to use their children to extort the money from the man. Still not convinced? How about when he was being tried for the crime, he openly stated that he was bisexual? I don't know about you, but when I was taking guitar lessons, I don't believe my guitar teacher's sexual orientation ever came up. How would the victim know that Holland was bi? I'll tell you why. Because the dude fucking did all the kid. Case fucking closed! Will I miss Dave Holland? Nope. Guy is a garbage human and he will not be missed. I'm Bafumet. See you in fucking hell, Dave Holland.